Jury, I've only heard Jeff's version of events so far, but today it's our turn. I'm going to do my absolute best to get her off, I swear. I know you will. Just wish Elaine hadn't backed out. I mean, what chance has she got without her? Well, we still have Sally and Kathy's testimony. Look, I need you to be strong when you're in that witness box. Hmm? Not giving up before you've even started, OK? OK. I'll go and get ready. All right, I'll see you in court. Yeah. So she has me on straight away. Well, we have a few more witnesses for the prosecution, but then, yeah, she's up. How do you think she'll do? Honestly, mate, I'm breaking it. Oh, maybe don't tell Nelly that, though. Please read the affirmation from the card. I do solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Your husband claims that you were an alcoholic. Is that true? No. I enjoy the occasional drink. That's all. But to, to please Jeff, I stopped drinking altogether. I see. Uh, could you talk me through the events of the night of January the 31st? I told him I didn't think I was an alcoholic. So... He made me drink a glass of wine, even though I didn't want it. And then another, and another. In the end, I said I was wrong, that I did have a problem. It was the only way I could get him to stop. On the night of the alleged attack, your husband says that you were about to have a drink and that he tried to stop you, is that correct? No. Were there any other? preferences your husband had, apart from you staying in and not drinking? Oh, yes. I used to... I used to get confused. There were so many rules. He liked the house to be clean, so he used to make little crosses in different places just to make sure that I didn't miss anywhere. He'd give me a small amount of money each week, and I had to get all the shopping with that. He took all my bank cards off me, you see. Oh, yes, I was scared all the time. Constantly treading on eggshells, trying to keep him in a good mood. Why? What would happen when he was in a bad mood? When he got angry? He'd shout or sulk. Maybe lock me in the house. Or stop me from doing something I liked. Even try to make me do something I didn't like. He even killed my favorite chicken. And he, he, he watched me eat her before telling me what it was. And even when he wasn't angry, he'd undermine everything I did just to, to make me feel worthless. Did you ever feel physically threatened by your husband? Oh, yes. Um, when he shouted at me, he'd get right in my face. He'd look like he wanted to hit me, and I started to feel that one day he would. In fact, he once told me that he'd rather see me dead than with anyone else. That's why I always backed down. I tried to placate him. Uh, were there any moments where you felt particularly at risk? Yes. Could you give us an example? When he locked me in the box, his magician's box. After a while, I realized he wasn't there. I couldn't breathe. I tried to get out. And that's when I realized he'd locked it. Right, so... Just to be clear, he knowing that you were claustrophobic locked you in this box and then just went out. Yes. And it was only when my son-in-law arrived back and heard me that I was able to get out. That, that was when I really started to be scared of Jeff. Thank you. 
Now, I would like to show the court some video footage taken on the night before this incident of Mr. Metcalf's mobile phone. And I would like the court to recall whilst watching it, Mr. Metcalf's claim that he was not an abusive husband. You don't want to be. Smile. I'm a professional, Yasmin. I kept going. Emma wouldn't have got me into that mess. Is he doing a sight better in that outfit too? Don't turn away from him while I'm filming you. And she wouldn't have worn it with a fleece either. Dear old dear, what a state. Was he like this on the internet for everyone to laugh at? On the 1st of April, you rang the police for information on your husband under Claire's law. Is that correct? Yes. Now, for the benefit of the jury, uh, Claire's law is the domestic violence disclosure scheme. Under the scheme, potential victims can ask the police for information on someone in relation to previous domestic abuse offences. And did the police have any information on Mr. Metcalf? Yes. An ex-girlfriend had made complaints against him some years back, but the charges had been dropped due to insufficient evidence. Still, they must have thought it relevant, otherwise they wouldn't have told me. Mrs. Metcalf, whilst you were living with Mr. Metcalf, did you feel like you might be the victim of domestic abuse? Well, at first, no. But later, yes, I began to feel that which is why I contacted the police. And did you still feel that way on the night of the alleged attack? No. I didn't feel I might have been. I suddenly realized that I was. <laughs> 